At the Red Hill restaurant in Los Angeles, food preparation is hands-on. Chef and owner Jason Michaud. If someone comes to work sick, they're going to make the people around them sick, and I, I, I can't have that. So Michaud does something unusual in the restaurant business. He offers paid sick days. And you give everyone sick leave. I do. But you hear many small businesses, many large businesses, saying they just can't afford to do that. Yeah, I, I think you can't afford not to. Anything that's not healthy for the cooks is not going to be healthy for the people that, that are eating here. It's, that's the bottom line. A recent restaurant industry study found 9 out of 10 restaurant workers do not get paid sick days. Tanya Delahousse worked at Olive Garden for 20 years. She couldn't take time off to see a doctor about her painful wrist injury without losing pay, so she toughed it out. When it got so bad she couldn't hold a tray, she says she was fired. I had to go to work in pain because I needed the money. I was living off tips. In a statement, Olive Garden's parent company, Darden Restaurants, told us the health and well-being of our guests and employees is our top priority. If an employee is ill and can't work, we work with them to reschedule their shift so they can work the hours they expected to work. I've been the sick cook before, and I've brought it into work and felt miserable and done a terrible job. Now that I'm at the ownership level, I don't want to do that to people. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.